of all time, who are yourself without change or alteration, yet you are the fullness of time which have been, which are, and which are yet to be, who with ineffable long suffering do God say unto us to come unto this new year, do yourself, do you yourself, O all good master, bless it the, the beginning of this year by your divine grace. Grant gentle showers of the fruitfulness of the earth. Send healthful and seasonable weather for man and beast. Grant us to begin the new year in steadfast peace and harmony. Crown with the glory of earthly good things and by the light of your commandments to pass the days graciously with a seemly disposition, needing a virtuous love. Preserve well our holy church. Strengthen and confirm our nation by the light of our hand. Rear the infants, guide the young, support the aged, collect the scattered, and unite them to your holy church. May your kingdom come upon us, the kingdom of, of all the ages, the kingdom of goodness, righteousness, and peace. And vouchsafe that with one mouth and one heart we may praise and glorify you. Thank you. 
as a one who can see in your holy book, the creator of all the things of a lifeless world. Your servant, O giver of my life, that I may pray 
of Halagi and the teacher of Ludadikin, whose memory we commemorate today and of all your sins. Preserve the Lord, the, the President of the United States, and all the other civil authorities enabled by the American people. Save, O God, our Orthodox bishops, rightly divide the work of your truth. Grant it unto them the spiritual and bodily help. Be merciful unto this Christian habitation which labors for you. Have in remembrance of God every priestly and monastic order of their salvation. Have in remembrance of God both those who hate us and those who love us. The brethren who serve with us, the people here present, and who for any cause are worthy of blessing, and have gone forth having empowered us, unworthy though we are, to pray for them. Have in remembrance of God our brethren who are in captivity and affliction, and show mercy unto them according to your great mercy, delivering them from every tribulation. For you are the fountain of healing, Christ our God, and to you we send up all glory, together with your eternal Father, and our holy and life great spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages.
the idea of St. John the Baptist, as much as it is a uh, feast of the church, it is among the minor feasts, it's not a major feast. Um, the, of the major feasts, our church here starts with the, the birth of the dead horse and ends with her death. And this is, this is the way we need to see our lives. This is why it was so important for us to celebrate St. Joseph the Hesychus. Because his life literally ended on the death. He, he ended his year, his cycle, he ended his life uh, on, on, and with the death of the Virgin Mary of the Pilgrims. But there's more there, brother. And, and these are things that we have to keep in mind when it comes to the blessings of the new year. We've experienced a lot of graces. We really have. And it's not over yet. Okay, even if the virus goes away right now, even if this virus went away right now, the world would still be left with those who are struggling to understand and believe in our Lord. And, and so the craziness that we are surrounded with, many people feel that our option really is to retreat back within ourselves and to kind of be separate from the world. And there's a scripture. There's scripture that supports that. You know, Jesus tells the apostles, be in the world, but not of the world. But, and, and, and so, you know, and then we have the, the idea of those um, ascetic fathers who left the world behind and went to the monastic communities to live. You know, or left, and they went into the desert and the wilderness where there was nothing. You know, there's this famous uh, idea called the Benedict Option. I don't have time to explain all of that. But just, it, it basically that means is the world is going crazy, we're just going to be over here. And we're going to do our own thing. We're going to create communities. We're going to create our own little thing and over here. We'll be in the world, but let the world destroy itself. We'll be okay. But God, who has left us in the world and left his apostles in the world, did not necessarily want us all to retreat away from the world. He left us in it. He told the apostles, be in the world, be in the world. We have a place here. And it's getting increasingly harder, I'm branch. It's getting increasingly harder to be in the world, but we're supposed to be. And if we're in it, we're supposed to be not of it. In other words, we're not supposed to let that craziness infiltrate our life. But constantly, we must find ways of penetrating the craziness. So that the word of the Lord can be preached. I recently had a brother priest who meant well and was sharing wonderful things of invitation, inviting all these different individuals. If you're struggling with your faith, if you are, you know, if you're homosexual, if you're this, if you're that, come to church, come to church. You know, all of these things. If you're unsure about your gender, if you're, if you're cheating on your wife, if you're, if you're getting a, like he had a bunch of this, come to church anyway. You know, and that's the message. That's the right message. No matter what it is that we're going to, come to, to go to come to church anyway. That's the correct message. Unfortunately, we're in a world where many people who are struggling with whatever it is they're struggling with do not see these things as anything wrong. There's nothing wrong with them. They they feel that 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 whatever it is that there's that their walk of life. That they can do whatever they want to be, decide to be whatever they want to be, and they shouldn't struggle against it. They should just embrace it, whatever it is. And I'm not going to say, you know, because I, I don't know each specific case and what they're going through. But this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. When we are in the world, we have to find ways of giving the message of Christ to the world. If we are going to sit and say, if we are going to sit and say, we're right, you're wrong, we might as well go and retreat anyway. Because, you know, pounding, pounding the Bible or, or, or pounding the, the, the doctrines of the Orthodox Church is not going to change lives. What is going to change lives, how, how people will be convinced that we have a message that is good and holy and true, is if it is delivered in a loving, kind, in a way that they can receive it. That is it. But this new year is a year of promise. It always is. Even last year, when we began it together, it was still a year of promise. And we have to, we have to see the place where God is going to let us and see 
us grow in it. We have to find ways of making the gospel relevant, both to the people who are here or should be here, and to those people who are absent for whatever reason. Because the whole world belongs in this church right now. The whole world.
different place, flowing with milk and honey and everything we have. So today, we remember Him and we allow for our Lord to guide us and lead us into this new year of promise. This water, you can take some home. Uh, you will have an opportunity to drink some as well. Uh, that we'll have that. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of bless you as you come by. And, uh, and, and this, this is the same one. Take it to your homes. Starting tomorrow. So may the Lord continue to bless you. God, you can come forward uh, to receive your blessing. You don't have to kiss the cross. I'm not telling you you have to kiss the cross. But I will bless your, uh, your head as you pass by. And, uh, and after, you, after you drink, um, just leave your cup on the table, and we will dispose of it appropriately. <clears throat> Thirty nine o'clock, so you can kind of feel you're welcome to come in. 
like, I'm already taking at least one person with me. Um, uh, but I'll be, you know, we'll have to leave and leave around 6.30 in the morning-ish. Uh, you're welcome to come, but I need to know in advance if you're doing that. I'll announce it again on Sunday. Uh, I personally, at this point in time, have room for six individuals in my car. So I already have one, so let me find one. <laughs> Unless you're going to do another, uh, another time or something. But we'll, we'll go from there. Alrighty? Wonderful. Where's the guy that got the question? Amin. 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 Oh,